Hey everyone, the Drew Gamer here. So on my channel recently, I've been doing a lot of Pokemon 3DS content. I've been doing Pokemon Alpha Sapphire randomized, and I've been doing Pokemon Ultra Sun randomized. So I'm here today to give you a tutorial on how to do it because I often get asked about it, like how I did it, what I use, and everything. And there's not like a huge number of tutorials out there, so I thought I'd do one for you. Um, so first thing you're gonna need, you're gonna need the Citra emulator. You're going to need to download the pack hack tool to do it and you're going to need the Pokemon 3DS builder and then you're going to need a ROM. I'm not going to link the ROMs in the description, like where to get the ROMs and stuff, you'll have to find those yourself. But uh, generally just search for the Pokemon title and then put Citra ROM and you should find it. So for instance, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire Citra ROM and you'll find it because it needs to be a decrypted version of it to work in Citra. And first of all, you're going to want to download the Citra emulator, get that installed, get both versions installed, it doesn't really matter which and make sure it's the sort today and then once you've done that go to the hacking tool download version 9 which is what I have uh, that's the one that seems to work best for me so I, I definitely I definitely use that and then you want to go to this site and download the Pokemon 3ds builder and all these will be linked in the description so you can get to them easier so that makes things a lot easier for you <laughs> And then once you've done that, and have them all installed, unzip the files, and then we're going to go over to, we're going to open the window to just make it easier. You want to go to pack hat, and make sure you install that as well. And then, for instance, we're going to copy my Pokemon Ultra Sun ROM, and we're going to put it in here. And once that's copied over, make sure that it's named something simple. So mine's just called Ultra Sun, and it has to have the extension .3ds. So if it's not named .3ds, make sure that it is. Go into the hacking tool. Press D to enter D for extract a 3DS file. And then type in the name of your 3DS file. Ours is called Ultra Sun. You don't need to include the extension. Press enter, then N, and then enter again. And it'll start the extraction process. And then I will make sure that I cut back once it's all done. Okay, so now that it's done, what you want to do, we're just going to press can and it's edit to continue and we're just going to minimize that for now and now what you want to do is you want to copy the entirety of this into a new folder it doesn't matter what the folder is called or anything you can name it whatever you want but we're going to copy this over everything from that into here all right now we've got everything over in that new folder you're going to want to open pokemon3ds.exe Here we go. Okay, well, it took a while to open. Uh, we want to go to open. Like, mine's already seems to be selected, but let me uh, just get to that real quick. It should already be there, but uh, let me let me just get to that that one real quick. Uh, I need to find it now. All right, so here we go. We got a new folder. I'm just going to select that. Just select the whole new folder. Don't select anything else. I just wanted to make sure that it was all working. Now, we have every sort of option that you can think of here. So you've got text, you've got story text, you've got personal stats, you've got evolutions. So if you wanted to, you could go into the evolutions and you can remove, randomize all the evolutions. You can turn off, remove trade with evolutions. So that's why I usually go, I turn off the trade evolutions. And then each time you just close the box. Level of move, wild encounters. Okay, so that's one we're gonna look at today. Uh, I'm not gonna do too many of these, but I'll just give you a few examples of what's gonna happen. Of course, it's not gonna respond now. Here we go. So as you can see, you've got all your Pokemon here. You've got like in daytime, you've got Young Goose, you've got Pika Pet, you've got Baneri, Grubbin, Pichu, and all that sort of stuff. And you can randomize these to anything you want. You can do, do it to anything you want, but I don't really just press randomize all. And as you can see, we've got a chance of finding a Balta, you've got a, a Croconaut, a Dodrio, Rampardos, and all, all that good stuff. So I'll just use that as an example. You can like limit it, you can turn off the generations, you can remove legendaries and everything. You can just do whatever you want. And this is the same for every route that you can think of. Um, so for instance, if we go down to route two, we got Snorlax and stuff. So, okay. So that's that done. Then that, once you close that, it will save what you've done. Uh, you can randomize it. Mega Evolutions, Egg Moves, Trainers, the Trainers. <laughs> It's funny. Uh, items, stats, moves, battle tree, uh, battle tree, pickup items, 
and then if you go to static encounters, well, this is something that we're going to be looking at today. So you've got all your random your Pokemon here, and you can randomize them all to any generation. So now our, all the random Pokemon are randomized, but you can also randomize starters as well, which is what I was trying to do. But <laughs> so now instead of uh, that, we'll get an Oddish, a Jangmo, and a Charmander. And then you press save, you press yes. And then that's that done. You don't have to keep that open anymore. Now, from the new folder that we made, go back to Pack Hack, grab Extracted ROM FS, copy, go back to Pack Hack, sorry, paste that into there. And then we'll wait till it comes back. If it comes up, replace anything, just replace it. They replace all files in this destination and say yes. Awesome. So, now that that's all in there, we have copy the extracted ROM FS folder from new folder into the pack hack. Open up your hacking tool again. This time press R, enter, and now we want to give it a new name. So I'm just going to call this um, test so that we know that it, this is the one that we moved into the file. Press enter and then it'll start the rebuilding process. And again, I will cut away until it it's done. All right, now that that's done, you can press any key to continue, close that out. And here you'll see we have our tested, test edited 3DS ROM. So you wanna cut that or copy it, go to wherever you're keeping your ROMs, paste it there. And honestly, you can probably get rid of these three folders once you do, because they do take up a lot of space. So now that we've got that, and once it copies over, because it's going to take a while for it to copy over, uh, what I'll do is I will cut away and I'll show you it working. All right, guys. Unfortunately, due to already having a uh, Pokemon save file with Ultra Sun for my Mono Water type challenge, um, I couldn't show you the tested one I made. But I'll show you examples of it working. So here, like, I, as you can see, my team's a bit different than normal. Here's a dust stock, so you wouldn't normally find in the, in the, here, in the Vast Pony Canyon. So we're going to get away from that, and then I'll show you, show you the uh, trainer thing as well, just to show you that it is randomised. So here we have a hiker. Who is actually uh, challenged by Ace Duo, Zachary and Zachary. <laughs> So, and then he should have randomized Pokemon for instance he has a Darabaka. So yeah, as you can see, you can see that it's working and everything that's happening with it. But I hope the tutorial was informative for you and I hope it helps you out. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video guys. Bye!